hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we want to look at electrical energy work and power before we begin if you are new to my science tutorials kindly consider subscribing and turning on the notification button so that you do not miss any of our latest tutorials on biology chemistry mathematics and physics so without further ado let's begin so we want to start this tutorial by looking at what an energy is so if we talk about energy energy simply refers to the ability to do work so we define energy as the ability to do work okay so wherever we apply energy work is being done now for us to be able to calculate the work done and the power of an electrical circuit we need to know what the potential difference of the circuit is and what a potential energy is so we want to look at what potential energy is before we proceed to look at how to use the potential energy to be able to calculate for the work done in an electrical circuit as well as the power so the potential energy between two points is defined as the work done in moving one coulomb of electric one coulomb of electricity from one point to the other so we define potential energy as the work done as the work done in moving in moving one coulomb of electricity one coulomb of electricity Of electricity from one point to another from one point to another so the potential energy of a circuit between one point of the circuit to the other is the work done by moving one column of electricity from the initial point to the final point now the potential energy is normally denoted in phases with the two variables PD so if you see PD that is the potential difference or the potential energy now if we want to get the work done in a circuit we need to multiply the applied potential energy in volts by the quantity of electricity through the circuit so for us to get the potential energy sorry for us to get the work done work done in an electrical circuit we need to multiply the potential difference or the potential energy by the quantity of electricity quantity of electricity of electricity through the circuit through the circuit okay so this means our work done is given mathematically as potential difference which we use V to represent when we are doing the work done calculation and then we use multiplied by Q okay which is the quantity of electricity through the circuit so here our V is the potential energy potential energy and then our Q is the quantity quantity of electricity quantity of electricity now the quantity of electricity in phases is given by the product of the current and time so for us to get a quantity of electricity through a circuit we multiply the current passing through the circuit by the amount of time taken for the current to travel through the entire circuit so that becomes i t now if this is equation 2 and this is equation 1 let's substitute equation 2 into equa equation 1 and see what we have for work done so we have our work done to be equal to voltage multiplied by current and time so we have work done to be equal to v i t okay so let's name this equation 3 now from ohm's law from ohm's law 
we know that the voltage passing through a carrier passing through a circuit is equal to the product of the current through the circuit and then the resistance offered by the circuit so from ohm's law v is equal to ir now if we do the substitution for this guy which is equation 4 into the work done formula we get to realize that our work done now becomes our voltage is now ir so we have ir multiplied by the current over here and then multiplied by the time over here if we multiply everything over here we get to realize that work done becomes i square rt so this becomes our equation five but also from here assuming from ohm's law we make i the subject which is current the subject we get to realize that our current becomes the ratio of voltage on the resistance offered by the circuit if we substitute that into this equation up here work done in this case becomes our voltage multiplied by the current which is now i is equal to vr so we have vr over here multiplied by the time we have over here so our work done becomes v square on r multiplied by time or t okay so this is our equation six so now the the most important part of these equations for you to note is that we are saying our work done work done through an electrical circuit okay is equal to this equation that we have here which is voltage multiplied by current and time now assuming you are only given current and resistance with time and no voltage then it means you have to use this formula which is i square rt the same way if you are not given current and you have voltage resistance and time you use this formula that we have over here but once you know how to do the substitution and you know that ohm's law v is equal to ir and you manipulate this to make either the voltage the subject or the current the subject you can do the substitution into this formula and get these two other formulas so the most important one is what equation three over here and then equation four once you know these two you can do the substitution to get the other two and then work your way out now let's look at what an electrical power is so an electrical power can simply be defined as the work done per second so we say that electrical power electrical power or power is equal to the work done over the time taken so we have work done over time taken okay now we just learned that the work done in an electrical circuit is equal to voltage multiplied by current and time okay so if we do the substitution into this formula we get to realize that our power becomes the work done which is vit on the time taken which is also t so it means our power now becomes voltage times current as the two times over here cancel is each other out now the same way we can say from ohm's law v is equal to what ir this is from ohm's law so this implies that our power can also be written as what ir which is voltage multiplied by current so our power becomes i squared r okay so we see we have this as another formula for power okay apart from this which is the main equation let me use this as equation two we can also write this as the formula for power or from ohm's law if we make current the subject we have voltage over resistance so if we substitute this guy into the main sorry into this equation over here we have our power to be equal to our voltage multiplied by the current which is voltage on current sorry resistance over here so our power becomes 
v multiplied by v will give us v squared on r so this becomes our equation 4 so what you need to note is that for power we are saying power is equal to what the electrical power is equal to the work done over the time taken so we have work done on the time taken and then we say that that means our power is equal to voltage multiplied by current now if you do the manipulation using ohm's law and then you use v is equal to ir you get power to be equal to i squared r and then if you make i the subject and you substitute that into this formula you get power to be equal to v squared on r okay now with this basic introduction to what electrical energy is what work done in an electrical circuit is and then the electrical power let's look at some few examples for us to see how to apply this knowledge in solving basic problems in real life so we have example number one we have to calculate the amount of heat produced in two minutes when an electrical stove draws a 5.0 ampere of current when connected to a 150 volt power supply so this is very easy let's go ahead and look at the solution for this problem so we write down our solution so we are to calculate the amount of heat produced we are to find heat so it means we do not know our heat okay but we've been given the time to be what two minutes so we have two minutes as our time now we are told that the electrical stove draws a current of what five amperes so we have current of 5.0 amperes and then we are told that the stove was connected to a voltage supply of 150 so we have our voltage to be 150 now know that the voltage is equal to the potential difference or the potential energy across the circuit now what is heat we know heat is a form of energy and we said that energy is the ability to do work okay so it means heat which is energy can be considered or equated to what the work done by the electric stove that we have over here and we also know that our electric stove the work done by an electric stove or the work done in a circuit is the product of what voltage current and time okay so from here it means that our heat energy produced is equal to voltage multiplied by the current and then time now the time is given to us in minutes we need to convert it to what to seconds so we know 60 minutes sorry 60 seconds makes one minute so 120 seconds so we have 120 seconds is equal to two minutes so we'll be using 120 seconds in our calculation so we have our voltage to be 150 multiplied by our current which is 5 and then our time which is 120 over here so if we do the multiplication of everything we have over here we are going to get 90,000 joules as the amount of energy produced or 90 kilojoules as the amount of energy produced by the electric stove within two minutes now let's go ahead and have a look at another example so example number two we have a thousand watt kettle and a 750 watt pressing ion i used together for two and a half hours we have to calculate the total cost involved if the cost of electricity per kilowatt hour is five Ghanaian cities so let's look at how we do this so we write down solution we know that the cost of what electricity so the cost of electricity per hour that is kilowatt hour is what five Ghanaian cities okay so we need to find the amount of power okay consumed by the kettle and then the pressing iron within the time frame of two and a half hours are we okay 
So for us to find the power, okay, we are told that the power over here is thousand watt. Thousand watt. So if thousand watt, so the power for the electric kettle is thousand watt. So to find the power for the kettle for two and a half hours, we simply multiply the thousand by two and a half hours. Okay, so if you multiply thousand by two and a half, we are going to get two thousand five hundred watts, which is equal to two point five kilowatts. Okay, now if this okay is for the kettle this is for the kettle now to get that of the pressing iron to get that of the pressing iron we do the same thing we multiply the power of the pressing iron which is 750 by the time taken so we have 2.5 now if we do that we are going to get 750 multiplied by 2.5 will give us 1875 watts so this is equal to 1.875 kilowatts we've been told okay that a cost for kilowatt per hour is five dollars so let's find the total power consumed by the kettle and then the ion within the time frame of two and a half hours so that becomes 2.5 plus 1.875 and this is going to give us the value of 4.375 kilowatts okay so this is the total power consumed by the electric kettle and then the pressing iron within two and then half hours now we were told that the cost okay kilowatt per hour is five Ghanaian cities so to get the cost involved the cost involved will be equal to the power okay multiplied by the cost okay cost r that is the value that we have over here so our cost is going to be the power we have over here is 4.375 multiplied by the cost hour okay which is the kilowatts hour for an electricity is five so we have five here so our cost becomes 4.375 multiplied by five that is going to give us a value of 21 this is going to be 21.875 okay so if this is our cost it means approximately the cost for using an electric kettle of 100 over here is approximately 22 Ghanaian cities so it means if we use a thousand watt kettle and then a 750 watt pressing iron for the period of two and a half hours the cost we are to pay is 22 cities if the cost of electricity is what five Ghanaian says.